Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the spookiest month of the year. It is October, and we're going to be revisiting one of my favorite games from my childhood. This is Luigi's Mansion. Um, I know that we played this. We played this a long time ago on the channel, back when Nathan and I lived together. So we're going to be kind of breezing through some of this. Um, but like I said, this was one of my favorite games growing up. It fits the theme of October and spookiness, so I think uh, it, it, it's fitting enough, we'll say. Uh, question of the day. I'm going to go with, have you or anybody you know directly, not friend of a friend who knew a cousin once who had a, f a friend who told him about a story, but have you or anybody you know directly ever had a paranormal experience? Uh, or a supposed paranormal experience, I guess. Um, I personally have not, which is a little disappointing because I think we talked about it in our first playthrough of this game, when we only played through like two or three uh, episodes on a Let's Hang. Mm -hmm. I said I, I don't necessarily believe in ghosts or the paranormal, but I think it's fun to. So I think life would be a lot more fun if I had any reason to, to indulge in that. Um, but yes, we are going to get started here. God, this... This is, uh, getting, <laughs> this, it's been a while since I played this game, so it's take, it's gonna take some getting used to, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, you have to do that to get this ghost guy to appear, to drop the key. Oh god, the C stick is just fucking my day right up, guys. Mysterious floating orange key. How terrifying, man. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. I, you know, Luigi's a coward. He's characterized as being like a coward in these games and in other games as well. So the fact that he saw that, that, oh god. Alright, there we go. We got the key. The fact that he saw that ghost floaty key and then clearly saw the little uh, orange apparition fly into this door. The fact that he's like, yeah, let's take this key and, uh, you know, unlock this door and go right in is pretty amazing to me. Um, I wanted to show those little cutscenes there, kind of reminiscent of Re Resident Evil in my mind. Um, I'll be skipping them for the rest of this, this short little run we do. Oh god, it's a ghost. We're gonna die now. Oh, nope. Professor E. Gad's here. Old ass man with a fucking vacuum. Now that I think about it, what is he doing in this room? He's already like locked in this spooky room with the ghosts. Is he just like exploring around? Or is there something more sinister going on? I know there's a couple theories online about how he's not, uh, not as, uh, nice as he, he comes off as. Ouchie! Uh, I'm not gonna bother reading all of this to you guys because I know that we've we've covered this all before. So longtime viewers, I know that you uh, you guys have already seen this. Um, I just thought it would be a fun little trip to take on my own, kind of reminisce about my uh, my Halloween experiences and my uh, my time playing this game. For those of you who have not seen. Uh, our previous episodes, please uh, feel free to check those out. It was back when Nathan and I lived together, you know, the quote-unquote golden age of, of THG, so <laughs> feel free to check those episodes out. They're really good. I watched them uh, about a month ago and was, it was just cracking up, so feel free to check that out. I'll try to remember to have an annotation over this part. Um, if memory serves, we have to do the training now. Yeah, basically, this mansion, uh, Luigi got an invitation, or he won a contest for this mansion. Uh, a contest that he never entered. Ooh. Um, Egan says he's been here for a while. That mansion wasn't here until a few days ago. Uh, however, he did see a guy who looks kind of like us, but with a red hat that came. Uh, story is that Luigi got this mansion. Mario's like, hey, bro, let me go check that out for you. All right, I got you. Don't fucking worry about it. He took a posse of toads with him, and uh, he's going to check out the mansion, and he has not returned. I am going to skip this part, uh, so I will see you guys. <laughs> I will see you guys in a few minutes here. All right, guys, we are back at it. Uh, let me just go on the record as saying that I aced that training. Luigi professional here, so, uh, you're just gonna have to take my word for it, honestly. I, <laughs> I, I, 
felt we needed to cut that out just to get rid of the, or, you know, cut some unnecessary fluff. So we got a sad little crying toad in here. What are you up, man? Or what are you up to, man? Boo-hoo, where did Mario go? He left me. Luigi, Princess Peach, asked us to help Mario, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of fucking ghosts, man. I don't know if you fucking noticed. You have to help me fight Mario if he doesn't get it back. You don't know how upset the princess will be. She'll freak the fuck out and smack my big mushroom tip. Um, Alright, so lights are on now. Generally, that's kind of a, a, a theme, is when you clear a room, the lights go on. So this is in the toad rooms. Generally, you just have to talk to them. Um, just find them and talk to them, and they get happy. Um, and we're going to go... No, we do not go over here. I forgot. we got to clear through this part mm -hmm. of the mansion. So this room's dark. It has Oh, that's the wrong button. Uh, who put down my candles? You, Mr. Lime Green? Well, dark rooms are very dangerous around here. Yes. They love the dark, and now they will get you. <laughs> Jesus. You're in for now, Black Hog. <laughs> Just like the little red cat before you. May you wander lost in the darkness forever. See, this is a little dark for a fucking Mario game, in my opinion. It's, uh, there's some uh, real spooky consequences. Uh, I love that Luigi gets spooked every time a ghost pops up. Every single time. Um, it's kind of funny, but it's also a way to tell you, Whoa, somebody spawned if you didn't hear the fucking loud-ass ghost cackle. Just some coins chilling around on the, on the chair and desk and table. Come on, bitches. <sighs> See that? I made it seem a little easy, but it, it's a lot more difficult. Okay, watch this. When you open this chest, you hump the shit out of it. Let me if I can do it. Oh yeah. See? Oh, I didn't open. Sometimes you gotta hump it twice to get it right, guys. Um, it, that's always struck me as weird. Ever since I was a kid playing this game, I don't know why they chose that to be the animation. <laughs> I don't know what else you could possibly see that as, in all honesty. Uh, and the fact that he just kind of grunts, oh yeah, uh, kind of just adds to it in my opinion. Alrighty, on to the next room. You know, the funny thing is, we're probably going to get to exactly the same place I got to the first time when Nate and I played through this, so it's going to be, it's a little bit of rehashing, uh, revisiting, um, but you know what, that's okay. And I asked, did I ask the question of the day? Have you ever had a paranormal experience, you or anybody you know? I think I did, so. Just don't forget to do that down in the comments below. Oh shit! This ghost is gonna punch the shit out of me. Don't do it, mister. Don't do it! Nice try, guy. See? I still got it. It's been a, it's been a hot minute. Oh, these guys are a little trickier, though. Right. Fuck. Okay, I thought I could get them both at the same time. And I committed to vacuuming because that turns off your flashlight. Probably wasn't the best. Oh no. Oh god. <laughs> All that cockiness I had just right out the window. Alright, get the little heart, man. Come over here, Mr. Pink Slim Jim. I'm gonna suck you right the fuck up, man. Very nice. Room clear. Uh, now you can, like, knock shit around. Part of the completion bonus for, for this game. I don't even know if you'd call it a completion bonus, really, but part of the bonus for this game is you can get money. And, uh, spoilers, I guess, at the very end of the game, uh, your rating is based on how much money you got. Uh, and Luigi buys a mansion with that money. So if you have very little money, if you can just go through real quick and don't, don't try to pick anything up, he literally has a little shack on this hill. <laughs> oh, and there's a banana ghost. Um, and if you go through and you're, you're an OG baller, as we say in the Mario community, uh, you get a shitload of money and pearls and jewels. Oh, fuck. Okay, so they drop bananas and you get some. But if you get a ton of money, then the mansion at the end is baller as all hell. I think it, when I was playing as a kid, this I only got like the second highest mansion. I don't think I ever got like, maximum elite status Luigi uh, mansion, but... Not too bad. Uh, these guys are gross. I do not like them. They're kind of cute, though. All, all the ghosts are pretty cute, which I appreciate. I'm just gonna suck these bananas real quick. Luigi's a big old banana sucker, you heard it here first. You gotta keep him off the ground, though, or you'll slippy slip. 
And, oh, I think I gotta open these now to get the rest of the ghosts. Ah, blue ghost. So he's hella fast, and I'm pretty sure he gives, like, I'm never gonna catch this guy. Oh, God. Okay, so you have a very small window to catch those guys, because they give a shitload of cash if you do catch them. Uh, everything here is so fucking dusty. I'm gonna hump this chest, if you know what I'm saying. Get this wardrobe. And there we go. Our little key drops in over here. And we use our little vacuum to... We try to use our little vacuum to suck up the key. That's a hella strong vacuum, as Nathan pointed out. Um, the suction is to the max. So now we have the key to that door I tried to go to before. Um, and I'm just gonna knock this chandelier. Yeah. Get a little heart. Oh, maybe. Come back. Come back, friend. Okay, cool. And there's a toad out here, so I'm gonna talk to him, make him not sad and crying. The little toad theme. Um, cool, so he's happy now. We got the light on out here. I think there's something to do out here later on, but not right now. So, I just wanted to say hi to our friend. And you know what? We're gonna use our Game Boy Horror, and we're gonna teleport to the next episode. See you guys then! Goodbye!